Transcript Pad Overview. This video tutorial will provide an overview of the user interface and available tools in Transcript Pad. When you open a case file, you'll see the Home button and the Select button on the left side at the top. The Home button will bring you back to the Document Manager, where you can open a different case file. The Select button allows you to select a file, or multiple files, and then press the Edit button to perform various actions on them. Underneath the Home and Select buttons is the Search field, where you can search your transcripts. As you start to type, Transcript Pad will automatically start showing the number of hits in each transcript or folder. The search tool acts upon whichever hierarchical level you are at when you perform the search. If you are reviewing a single transcript, it will return results for that single transcript. If you perform that same search at the topmost level of the case, it will search across all the depositions and transcripts in all the folders, showing you the number of results found in each transcript or folder. Once you open a particular transcript after a search, it will list all the page and lines where the search was found on the left side. Tapping on any of the page line numbers will scroll the transcript to that page line, highlight the word, and place it in the center of the preview window so you can see the word in the context of which it was said. You can tap on any other page line search result to scroll to that section, or use the page up or page down buttons to jump to the next mention. Under the search field is the powerful Annotate Search Results tool, which we will discuss later in this video. Below this button, you will find your document list of transcripts and folders. Underneath the document list is the plus button, which gives you the options to import documents or import folder, as well as the option to create new folder to help you organize your transcripts and exhibits. For details on importing files, please see the separate video called Importing Evidence. Next to the plus button is the reports button. When pressed, the reports button shows the different report options. We will cover the different report types and their uses later in this video. On the right side of the screen is the preview window, which displays the transcript selected in the document list. At the top left of the preview window is the expand button, which will collapse the document list, allowing the preview window to fill the screen. Press the Back button to bring back the document list. Next to the Expand button is the Transcript Font button, which provides options to view the transcript in the standard or large font size, and choose whether to show questions in bold. Below those options are different font choices, divided between recommended fonts and other fonts. Whatever size or font is picked, no words will flow to another line in order to preserve the page and line numbers of the record. At the top right of the preview window is the page X of Y indicator, where your current page and the number of pages in the transcript are always displayed. If you tap on the page X of Y indicator, it will bring up the Jump to Page option, where you can type in the page you want to jump to and press Return. The next button is the Action button, which allows you to perform various actions on the transcript, such as emailing a clean version of the transcript or saving it to a cloud storage provider. We will cover sharing an annotated version of the transcript when we discuss report types later in this video. At the bottom right of the preview window is the Recents button, which lists recently opened transcripts. This gives you the ability to jump back and forth between multiple transcripts that may be in different locations and hierarchical levels. The Recents button will sort the most recently used transcripts in reverse chronological order, so that the last used transcript is the first listed just above the button. At the bottom left of the preview window is the Auto Scroll button, which will automatically scroll the transcript. You can adjust the speed slider to get to your preferred reading speed or press the Stop button to cancel the auto-scroll. Inside the preview window is the transcript, and you can read and navigate to different pages in the transcript using several methods. Dragging up or down on the transcript text with your finger will smoothly slide the transcript with the movement of the transcript following your finger. 
Flicking up or down on the transcript text with your finger will smoothly scroll the transcript in the same direction. It will continue to scroll after you flick it with your finger and then slowly come to a stop. You can stop the scrolling at any time by pressing your finger on the screen. Dragging the slider on the right side up or down allows you to navigate to a specific page and line. As you move the slider up or down, it will display the page and line where you will jump to when you let go. Tapping on the previous page or next page buttons, which are above and below the slider, will snap the transcript to line one of the previous or next page so you can view a whole page with each tap. In Transcript Pad, each blue number to the left of the transcript is a button to select text and make designations. Tap on a blue line number. The whole line will become highlighted in a light blue. Then tap on another blue line number, either above or below the first. You can select forwards or backwards. The result is that a selection is made from the first page line you tapped on to the second page line you tapped on. Then the whole selection will become highlighted in a light blue and the annotate designation popover appears. If a mistake is made during the line selection process, just tap away to deselect and try again. The annotation popover allows you to create or assign an issue code. Highlight, underline, or redact different parts of the testimony. Flag portions of testimony and add a note. Or Share the designation. Starting at the bottom, if you press the Share button after creating a designation, you can press the Copy button in order to be able to paste it into another app on your iPad. You can also press the Email button and Transcript Pad will launch your mail app. Pre-populate the body of your email with the page and line numbers, the name of the deponent, the date of the deposition, the volume number, and the text from the transcript designation. This allows the user to quickly send anyone a section of transcript, including the details where the designation came from. Moving upward is the flag tool, which is similar to how a sticky note on a paper transcript is used, only much easier and faster. Create a designation by tapping on the starting and ending line numbers. Then tap on the blue flag icon with the blue plus sign. The designation is annotated with a blue line in the right margin with an unfilled flag icon. At this point, you could tap Done, which would be similar to a sticky note without any writing on it. If you decide to add a note by typing in the Note field and pressing Done, the flag in the margin will become solid blue, similar to a sticky note with writing on it. Unfilled flags indicate that you have flagged a section, while a solid blue flag indicates that you have flagged a section and made some notes that you can open and read and include in a report. To read the notes assigned to a flag, just tap on the solid blue flag icon. You can delete a flag by selecting the designation that has been flagged and pressing the flag icon with the red minus sign and it will remove the flag from that section. If the flag has a note associated with it, you will be shown a warning that deleting the flag will also delete any note associated with it. After you create a flag, a flags section appears in the left column with a disclosure triangle. Tap on the disclosure triangle to expand and view all the page line designations to which you have assigned any flags. Any page line designation with a blue dot to the right of it indicates it is a flag that also contains a note. You can tap on any of these page line designations and Transcript Pad will immediately scroll to display the section that was flagged. Next up are the Redact, Underline, and Highlight tools, which do exactly as you'd expect. A designation can only have one highlight color, and one underline color, and one redact color. So a designation cannot have a yellow and green highlight, but it could have a yellow highlight and a red underline, and have a line redacted. To remove a highlight, underline, or redaction, select the lines and press the Cancel button for the respective annotation. The last and most powerful annotation tool is the Issue Code, 
which allows you to assign one or more custom issue codes, such as liability, damages, or causation, to sections of testimony, and then create reports based on those issue codes. To create a new issue code, select a designation so that the Annotate Designation popover appears. Tap on the Create New Issue Code button. Name the issue code. Assign it a color and press Done. You can have unlimited issue codes that can have one of six colors. The text is annotated with the issue code color in the left margin, so you can easily see the sections that have been assigned an issue code. As you create new issue codes, the names you assign will appear in cells in the left column with a disclosure triangle. Tap on the Disclosure Triangle to expand and view all of the page line designations to which you have assigned a particular issue code. You can tap on any of these page line designations and the transcript will immediately scroll to display the section that was assigned that issue code. If you are working on a case with a large number of issue codes for different witnesses, such as financial experts and doctors, you can change the issue codes that appear in the Annotate Designation popover by pressing the Show Issue Codes Used In button and switch between the entire case file or only this transcript. This way, you won't see financial issue codes when reviewing a doctor's deposition. We will now cover the Annotate Search Results tool. As you view any search results, you can tap on the Annotate Search Results button, which will bring up the Annotate Designation popover, but without the flag option. This is a very powerful tool that allows you to select all the question and answer blocks found in the search results and assign issue codes, highlights, underlines, or redactions, or even share them via email. Each designation will include the whole question and answer within which the word was mentioned. And without creating duplicate designations, if the word was mentioned several times in a question and answer pair. This is very useful to quickly highlight all questions and answers in a deposition that contain a keyword like fall, or to redact every question and answer in a deposition that mentions the word insurance. The last topic we'll cover in this video are the reports. After you use transcript pad to assign issue codes to designations, add highlights, underline sections, or flag questions and answers. You may want to print out a report of a deponent's transcript, a group of trial transcripts, or create a report of a particular issue code across a number of transcripts. You do this by pressing the Reports button at the bottom of the Documents list, and the report will include whatever transcripts are visible at the current hierarchical level. This means that you could, for example, group all your expert witnesses in one folder and create a report of all the issue codes you assign to the experts. The PDF Detail creates a PDF file that includes the page and line numbers for each designation and the transcript testimony. This is a great report to create as a summary of a deponent's testimony, especially if it will be some time before you review it again. The PDF Summary creates a PDF file that includes the page and line numbers for each designation, but does not include the transcript testimony. You might use this report to provide to opposing counsel to let them know which parts of a deposition you intend to read or play back by video at trial. The PDF Impeachment Slides creates PDF slides for each designation. And includes the deponent name, volume number, date of deposition, page and line information, and the transcript testimony. The slides created by this report can be copied to trial pad and used to impeach a witness with a simple tap. The PDF Annotated Full and Annotated Mini Reports 
will create PDF files of every page of the original transcript with an issue code key on the first page. This is similar to a traditional full page or mini printed transcript and includes your highlights, underlines, flags with associated notes, and color-coded column markings for issue codes. The TXT Detail and TXT Summary Reports will create generic TXT files similar to the PDF Detail and PDF Summary Reports. These reports are useful when you need to copy and paste testimony into another app, such as Word, to incorporate into a motion. The Spreadsheet Microsoft Excel Report will create a Microsoft Excel file that includes each designation's page and line information and the transcript testimony. When opened in Microsoft Excel, separate sheets will be created for any flags, notes, highlights, underlines, and issue codes.